welcome Design Made to our office in Paris. Please come in. We are here in the entry, the vestibule. Um, I, uh, my assistant Daniel, um, he's uh, basically the person who welcomes everyone who comes here. And at the same time, there's a lot of action happening here because we have this table, we call it the square table, because it's square, where I have all my, the meetings with all the, my, the people who are the, on, the, on the architectural um, uh, side and the decorators. Remember that my main office is in New York. Uh, it is much bigger and all that, but it, in any case, I mean, we are we are very uh, happy here because it's plenty of light and uh, we have the courtyard. It's uh, it's a nice environment. Um, you know, it is well separated because this is like a wing of the building, but where I live, it is upstairs in the upper floor uh, that has also independent. Uh, you know, um, uh, can go up through the elevators without coming through the office. Uh, what I call my office, that we, I'll show it right now, um, is a, in between. I use it also for receptions, so it's, that is like the no man's land between office and residence. And, and it is, I'm used to that because it is in our field. You know, they're very difficult to put, to say I'm working from nine to six. I mean, we have a presentation, everyone's here until midnight sometimes. And first, the walls, they're all in Scagiola. And the Scagiola started with my famous trip to St. Petersburg in the 90, early 90s, when I met uh, this company that they were restoring uh, St. Catherine's uh, uh, Church. What I put together are things that they are exceptional, uh, with the provenance that is very important and things that are contemporary uh, and things that they have no provenance and they're nothing but they have a, something for the eye. This sofa, this canapé, belonged to the Queen of uh, France, Marie Antoinette, for the Chateau of Rambouillet. And that chest of drawers, is, it is very, very valuable because it was the first uh, French furniture that was sent to China in the early 17th century to have it painted in China with this lacquer. But also I have there uh, Picasso uh, washes, I have a Giacometti, uh, the, La Femme qui marche, the woman that walks. The photograph that is there, it is a, a, a extraordinary American photographer by the name of Doug Hall. Um, that console also, it is uh, the same model of console you find in Versailles, and that's a sculpture by Lucio Fontana, the, the sphere. Um, those are Russian constructivists, uh, Nina Kogan with a Giacometti, uh, a Diego Giacometti uh, drawing over a Giacometti console table, and that uh, circle, it is by a um, an Italian sculpture, uh, contemporary of course, uh, his name is Bruno Romeda. And the fireplace is English, that is a copy of the boxes for fireplaces from Pavlovsk. The art comes and can go. The furniture can change, can come, you can change the color, you can change the fabric, you can change the placement, you can change everything. What you cannot change is the person, I mean, the owner. So I think that I concentrate first on the person, then on the things that, first of all, many people have things. You might have an extraordinary uh, painting. Uh, why not use it? And then you can combine things. We're working, I mean, let's say that I'm presenting a project for people that already have been here many times. This is all open. So we are sitting there in the fireplace. We come here sometimes for private discussions or whatever. And it is, um, again, I have all my books up there in the mezzanine. Uh, inside these doors, I have uh, all the press clips and things, magazines uh, to show. This is quite special because
because it was um, um, it's a production. It took a year to do this. This is all tiles, faience, painted by hand. Is uh, most of the people think that this is a very either Portuguese or uh, Dutch uh, technique, but this is absolutely French. You have examples of tiles used for in, in St. Petersburg. If you go to the Menchikov Palace, they use blue and white tiles. Those are delft, though, um, even in the ceiling. That I put those Chinese zodiac figures that I used to own them. So I never had the possibility to display the 12 of them because they're rather large. They're about a meter height each. And um, voila, this is a glass version of Rotchenko's 1921 spatial sculpture. I think that you have one, they're all made in wood originally, uh, in uh, the uh, Tetrakov uh, galleries, in, in the modern Tetrakov galleries in Moscow. Um, the rest are a pair of uh, William Kent benches. And how do you think, uh, what does this room say about you uh, to the guest who's entering the first time? Oh, they're speechless. <laughs> because when I bought, when I was able to purchase the building, it didn't have a staircase. Originally, this was a house for one family, and then every room was given to families or people and to, uh, uh, you know, works, shops and things. So it was totally vandalized. Very few things remained and the staircase was demolished because they had exterior staircases because it was divided into too many people living here. And uh, in this case, um, I had to find a place to do the staircase. But the problem it is that as you can see, this is not very wide and it's very, very tall. This is uh, our living room. The reason why this house wasn't uh, demolished when it was very much in vogue uh, with, uh, con with uh, architects like Le Corbusier, for instance, who was um, uh, not my favorite, I have to say, um, and he had a plan to demolish all the old buildings in Paris and make all these uh, 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 concrete structures. Uh, thank God that it didn't happen uh, much. Uh, and they, it, it was known that there was a ceiling that belonged to the times when this house was built, so 1619. And because of the ceiling, this, this entire building is, is uh, protected. So I cannot do modifications to the building. Inside I could do decoration, but not modifications that they were structural or they were, you know, windows or things like that. And grant doesn't mean gold or malachite or this or that. Grant means the idea of space. Instead of having central galleries, you have a gallery that is part of the space, not gallery closed, but at the same time, it is next to the windows. So you have all the light coming and you see room after room after room. So when I open those doors, you have this enfilade that goes from one side to the house to the other. This room um, is all lacquer, uh, Chinese lacquer and um, it's done here, it's new. Some people think that it is part of the house or that it's an old paneling that I put here, um, you know, all, all with the Chinese lacquer. This is a, the, a, an incredible uh, craft that uh, is very difficult even to find today in the continent, in, 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 in Asia, people that can do this work. And these are all French people who does all the Chinese lacquer. Uh, in the 18th century, there were two, two castles, two palaces. One is very close here, it's the Hotel de Soubise, and it has a room that is called the saint gerry Singe, monkey, saint gerry the monkey room or something like that. And also in the Chateau of Chantilly, 
that is extremely beautiful. It's a royal chateau. There is a Saint-Gerry that I restored. These paintings, actually, I, I know the painter that I have is extraordinary because he has the same technique of an 18th century uh, uh, painting with all the grotesque, all the flowers, the animals and all that. And then we start here with this cabochon that there, and it says here, um, when you discover the antique, and says, um, deciding your vocation, deciding your, uh, what you'd like to be in life. And so eventually I'm there on horse and I have the world on my feet and all the arts. You see architecture, painting, uh, with all the drawings, the sculpture and all that. So it is a little bit part of my world travels. You see the, the ship there and the tent. So it was adventurous. I am here, you know, <laughs> there with all these painters and assistants, whatever. And I have my assistant there with my two little dogs. Uh, they passed away, but at that time they were. And here appears Pilar, my wife, for the first time. And you see all the orchestra with monkeys, Pilar, myself, and all the, you know, the, uh, the big entrance. So I think it is so funny. Um, I believe that you have seen that sculpture many, many times in all the bridges in St. Petersburg. Uh, those are the famous Marly horses. I, I did lamps on them because, I mean, it is, uh, I think that they, they look all right with light. Um, for the good things that we have here are these chairs, that this also, they are Italian from um, Florence, from the villa of uh, Prince Demidov, uh, that he had a fantastic collection of furniture, and this happened to be um, uh, Italian directoire, but we, they come from his collection. I grew up in Chile, and I was brought up in England, and then I came to study in, in, uh, in Paris, architecture. Uh, they're not that different, truly. It's always been uh, mixing things, because it always, always my family went from big houses to smaller houses to this, to get, uh, divide these, put that there, and all that, so it was, uh, you know, uh, again, I mean, this is an English table with, a, with Italian chairs, with a French table there, uh, those are Italian, uh, these are from another, these are more regions, this is Louis XVI. I don't follow rules. I don't follow, oh, this has to be the Louis XVI room, or the Alexandre, uh, Alexander II Russian Empire. No, I mean, it is, Things they have to talk. It's like a cocktail party.